Welcome back. This is uh, video number two on the DBL 168. Today I'm going to go through on some of the wiring. I started. I put the board down on my drawer here. And this is going to be the power strip for going out to each individual blocks. And this one here is the power going in to the board which is coming from block C from the PM42 which is over there it's all wired up all right now I started to do solder the wires onto the uh, the connector which is over here all right now there's the board connector. The red wire over here will be section one coming in and these four white wires going out will be all the different blocks in section one and the other pink wire is section two, section three, section 4 and all the white wires are blocks in those sections the green wire is the ground and then I have the red and the black there's the black there's the red and that will be the power for the board all right, and that's going to get plugged in over here, just like this one did. Okay, so far that's what I've done, and uh, I'll make I'll continue on with the uh, soldering, and I'll get back to you when I'm done a little further. Okay, now that we have all the wires connected to the 44 pin connector, all right, and for this board, I have to send the wires through the top row and the bottom row of the pin connector just like on this illustration over here okay the only ones that didn't go through on both are the power supply and the ground the only th they only went through one one connection and uh, that is all in the instructions over here like it says over here, the ground was pin 11 and one side of the power was pin 12 and the other side was N so it was the top and the bottom connections alright so once that's all connected I brought it over to another terminal block over here. From here, these are going to my detection detected sections of the track. We have one, two, and three sections detected. And these will be the other ones on the layout that will be detected and they'll get wired up next. Alright, and this over here is the power coming in from section C. And this wire here, blue one right now, is just a temporary. And that is connected to the frogs. Alright, welcome back. Now we have all the wiring done for this board for my first section, or the first level of the layout. And like I said before, those are the wires going, wires going in, are the red, or pink, or whatever you want to call them, and the whites are going out. And from there it goes out to the layout. And each one of these is a detection section. And then I have the blue here hooked up to the frogs. I drop a lead over here. And then it's soldered. And there's the wire. And then it goes over to the blue 
which goes to section C and this whole section is sec is designated as C section and each uh, individual blocks is C1 like over here I have C5 marked so this section here will be C5 all the way up to this sec this switch here all right so now we have the wiring done we hook it up to our computer and there it is hooked up to the computer now I have a train sitting with two and en three engines and car which is all the way up to the first section so I don't know if this will pick it up but here we go if you look we have this red dot on indicating that it's occupied that red dot is on indicating it's occupied now if I move the train further up as it leaves the first section the light goes out but it hasn't left this section yet so the light will stay on and this is a long section and this is not a very good oh. Let's see. there we go we have gone into the next block so that light and now we have the two sections occupied and that's all there is to it now the way the detection works works off current so the engines pick it up is drawing current so it's indicating that it's occupied now the last car I have here has a little resistor and there it is that's all you need so that little resistor there is enough to draw the current and trip the indication system on that's all there is so it was very simple sounds complicated but once you go through it and get at it, it's very simple to do. It may seem like there's a lot of wires, but there's other, other systems that have a lot more. And this is pretty easy. It is plug and play and it isn't, but it's still pretty easy. So there it is, detection system working. Next will be the signaling. So if you have any questions, comments, please post them. And thank you for watching.